Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, visited the Prince Albert pub in Battersea to watch England lose 2-1 to, to the Czech Republic in a UEFA Euro 2020 qualifier. William has been president of the Football Association since 2007 and was joined by Chelsea manager Frank Lampard, who played 106 times for the national team between 1999 and 2014. The duo spoke to fans who had been supported by the Mind and Calm charities as part of the Heads Up mental health campaign. At the launch of the initiative, William said, This year, the FA and Heads together have joined forces to launch Heads Up, showing the world of football that our mental health is just as important as our physical health, and that we all need to take care of our everyday mental fitness, and provide support to one another when we face setbacks, so we can be match fit for whatever lies ahead. The charity aims to support football fans with mental health issues. William and Mr. Lampard spoke with fans who were accompanied by a figure who has supported them through difficult times. The Duke has starred in the BBC's A Royal Team Talk, tackling mental health. He was joined by England manager Gareth Southgate, England and Tottenham left back Danny Rose, former England players Jermaine Genus and Peter Crouch. France World Cup winner Thierry Henry and BBC Breakfast host Dan Walker to discuss men's mental health. England's 2-1 defeat at the Sonobo Stadium in Prague was their first qualifier defeat in 10 years. The three Lions will still qualify if they win in Bulgaria next week and Kosovo fail to beat Montenegro. London will host seven games at the tournament including their final and both semi-finals. William is an Aston Villa supporter. Last week, he was pictured with wife Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge and son Prince George and daughter Princess Charlotte at Carrow Road, near their Norfolk home. In what was George's first Aston Villa game, the villains ran riot with a 5-1 victory over Norwich City in the Premier League. William's father, Charles, Prince of Wales also supports a team that wears claret and blue. But instead of Aston Villa, he is a Burnley supporter. He explained in 2012, Some of you asked this evening whether I support a British football club and I said yes, Burnley. And people have responded Burnley. Oh yes, because Burnley has been through some very challenging times and I'm trying to find ways of helping to regenerate and raise aspirations and self-esteem in that part of the world. William's younger brother Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex once claimed in New Zealand most of the royal family are Arsenal fans. According to Goal, a child at a children's charity event claimed Kate was a Chelsea supporter, we high-fived because she supports Chelsea and I support Chelsea. In spite of some speculation saying she might be an Arsenal supporter, one Windsor Castle source claimed she is a West Ham fan. They explained, the Queen has never wanted people to know who she supports because she wants to be seen to be neutral. But she gave up her secret after overhearing one of her staff members saying he was a Millwall fan and was talking to another member of staff about the derby between West Ham and their arch rivals. They were quite shocked, after all, she's not exactly your typical West Ham fan. 